Are institutions starting to warm up to crypto again? Welcome to The Recap, where we bring you the most important or interesting Bitcoin and crypto news nuggets of the week. One year out from the next Bitcoin halving, the rekindling of institutional interest in digital assets has commenced. Last week, we saw record inflows of new staked Ether. Franklin Templeton jumps on the crypto bandwagon via Polygon. And Bitcoin react positively to First Republic, America's 14th largest bank, terrible earnings report. First Republic has since been taken into receivership by the feds and was sold over the weekend at bargain prices to JP Morgan Chase. If institutional investments like that they can stake their ether, last week they proved that they like it even more when they can unstake it as well. Some 572,000 ether tokens were deposited into new staking contracts last week, worth over $1 billion according to Dune Analytics. U.S. Congressman Patrick McHenry, chairman of the House Financial Services Committee, told a Coindesk Consensus 23 audience that following some hearings in May, the U.S. could expect a new crypto bill in two months. When asked whether he thought that the bill could be signed into law by President Biden within the next 12 months, he answered, without skipping a beat, Yes. Deloitte is hiring hundreds of crypto specialist positions. And KPMG published a report finding that most family offices in North America plan to invest in digital assets in the near future if they haven't already. Last but not least, BTC was up 6% on the week and Ether was up 0.5%. Check out ndax.io forward slash blog for all of the article links to the news tidbits mentioned above. Start your free account at ndax.io today.